In 2015, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake occurred in Barpa Gorkha in Nepal. The earthquake left nearly 9,000 dead, 16,800 people injured, 2.8 million displaced, and more than $10 billion in damages. These places were hardest hit by the earthquake, mostly because of their close proximity to the epicenter, but also because of weak building structures in these areas. On Everest, an avalanche that followed the earthquake killed more than 20 people. But earthquakes are a common occurrence in Nepal. With an exception of 2015, Nepal had an average of 20 to 50 earthquakes greater than 4.0 magnitude. But almost every 75 years, a massive earthquake has occurred in Nepal. But why does Nepal have so many earthquakes? The country is located at the convergence of the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate, which moves towards each other at the rate of 4 to 5 centimeters a year. The Himalayas formed as a result of the two plates colliding with each other and the downward sliding of the Indian plate below the Eurasian plate. But while Nepal is a high-risk place for earthquakes due to uncontrollable physical forces, the impact of the earthquakes in the country is devastating because of haphazard construction and the lack of strict building code implementation. Our structures are built poorly and the behavior of the people or let's say the capacity or the preparedness for responding to the earthquake is also very poor. The, the social, the economic situation is also not appropriate or not capable of withstanding those high level of earthquakes. And because of this, the risk is also very high. The potential of damage of buildings is also very high. The potential of death and injury is also very high. So what can we do to prepare for the next earthquake? We need to ensure that new buildings are earthquake resistant, and we need to retrofit old buildings. Retrofitting is an innovative and cost-effective method of seismically strengthening existing houses by strengthening structural elements and stabilizing the current structure, making them earthquake resistant. In Nepal, a variety of naturally available materials can be used to retrofit houses made of mud and timber. This model also shows how the typical Nepali house can be built to be earthquake resistant and cost effective. If we don't take these steps, the next big earthquake could be absolutely devastating to an increasingly urbanized Nepal.